So my dad is from England, and so I was raised on some classic English food. My dad was raised in post-World War II Britain, a time period of economic decline, bread rationing, and the worst culinary atrocities known to man, many that still continue to this day. For number one, we have beans on toast. Imagine this, you wake up on a Saturday when you're a little kid, you're pumped to watch some cartoons and maybe eat some pancakes. Oh yeah, I'm about to put whipped cream and chocolate sauce on- See, back in my dad's time, all they really had was bread and canned food. That was it, and there's not much you can do with that. So most of the meals people ate during that time involved bread, beans, tomatoes, and other food you can stuff in a can. And when you have a whole generation of poor fucks raised on this shit, they go and teach it to their own kids. And then their kids teach it to their kids. And then you end up with a whole subculture of British Instagram where people are posting breakfast pics of fucking beans on toast. And next we have Banana Buddies, another abomination involving bread. This time it's with sliced bananas between two slices of bread. It's literally just a banana sandwich. That's it. For number three we got bacon buddies. Now I swear by bacon buddies. You got bacon. You got toast. Combine the two bacon buddy. This legendary meal is always there for me after a night out drinking. And next we got cheese toasty. And yes, this again is just a cheese sandwich. But when your country was bombed for eight months straight, you gotta make cheese sandwich sound a little more positive and fun. But let me break down this naming system for these foods. Or rather, the lack of sensical naming system. So apparently it seems like buddy is just British slang for sandwich, or between two slices of bread. You know, you got the bacon buddy, the banana buddy, but then that begs the question, what the the fuck is up with cheese toasty? Why did they break the naming convention? Banana buddy, bacon buddy, cheese toasty? Why not cheesy buddy? No one knows. People start drinking in England at the age of 12. Who gives a shit? No rules. And then we have black pudding. This piece of shit food is a delicacy over in England, and it's literally beef blood and fat mixed with oatmeal. They were really running out of ideas with this one. For number six, we have spotted dick. This is what happens when your main tool for cooking is a giant cauldron. You just throw in some dough, add in some water, and mmm, fuck it, some of that leftover, dried out, rotten fruit you forgot about last week. It got its name because, well, British people think dicks are funny. Hey man, you know what would make these tasteless, flavorless, bland peas way better? If we mushed them up so they look like fucking baby vomit. Oh, dude, I have an even better idea. What if we did that and then we put them on top of french fries? <laughs> This is why countries raise the drinking age, so we don't have an entire generation of people who think mushy peas are an acceptable thing to dip french fries into. Like seriously, what is this? Get this out of my sight. For number eight, we got toad in the hole. Now this is a perfect example of the laziness that lost Britain the great empire it used to have. You know how if you're from USA, you've probably had pigs in a blanket or some form of sausage wrapped in dough. Well apparently, they're too good for that over there. They can't be bothered to individually wrap sausages. And let me explain something. The the benefit of wrapping them individually is the ratio of sausage to dough. If you just toss some sausages in randomly into a pan of dough, what if there's a whole section that's just dough? You don't want to take a bite of something and have it be just plain dough. Puh! Next is pot pies. Now this is the one thing England has going for it. When it comes to pot pies, England is the champ. There's really no competition. Last time I went to England, I got a beef pie in a random little shop on the street, and it was straight up an out-of-body experience. Well anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.